If you're serious about cooking, you've probably thought about setting up your own kitchen garden. Being able to grab a handful of something fresh and throw it straight in the pan is just unreal. But if you don't fancy running down the backyard every time you turn on the stove, or if you don't actually have the space to plant a full kitchen garden, I've got a way to get your herbs close to the kitchen. It's a vertical garden, and all you need is a wall and a good hit of sunlight a day, and you're in business. Vertical gardens are really popular at the moment, so there's plenty out there. You've got your wireframe ones, you've got your pockets, but I've decided to go with the vertical slats because it matches in perfect with this deck. Now we need a bunch of different herbs to really get this kitchen garden going. Herbs are great for a vertical garden because they don't have a large root system. If your vertical garden's gonna be in shade a lot of the time, you might wanna think of herbs like mint, watercress. Here, we're pretty lucky. We've got a lot of sun, so I've planted some parsley, basil, and sage. It's gonna look fantastic. It's not just herbs I'm planting. I've got some lettuce here as well, but it doesn't have to be all practical. I've got some dichondra silver foil, which is gonna look fantastic all year round as it drapes down the front of the basket. For the last basket, I've got more lettuce with some colourful flowers. Now you could even plant some nasturtiums, which are edible, if you wanted to take your kitchen garden to the next level. This vertical kitchen garden looks great, but most importantly, tastes great. How good is this? A kitchen garden right next to the kitchen, as fresh as you can get. Grow it, pick it, cook it. Done.